What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Yon's Corner. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new vegan struggles and transitioning to a vegan, not eating meat, not eating seafood, not eating shrimp, all of that good stuff. And let me tell you something. That shit is hard. Like, it is so hard because, you know, your taste buds get adapted to a lot of stuff. Once you start eating something, it's hard It's hard to break a habit in general. Like, it's really hard to break a habit, especially out of favorite foods. I mean, who didn't grow up on chicken? Chicken wings, got down fried chicken every Sunday, all of that. So, it's a struggle, but I am here today to tell my experience on my journey of pretty much becoming a vegan, going through the whole thing, falling behind, struggling. I'm I'm going to get into all of that. So without further ado, let's go right on here and jump in. All right, y'all. So I just wanted to put out some key points about transitioning into becoming a vegan, like becoming a new vegan and things like that. Because when people hear vegan, they automatically think that we eat shit like plants, the bark off of a tree, we eat goddamn seeds from a pet store. You know, people's people's perspective of veganism is is way off. Like it's way off. I'm telling you. Oh, let me finish. It's way off because honestly, a lot of people eat a lot of vegan food and don't even realize. I mean, you eat beans. Okay, that's part of being a vegan, but. Yeah, if I be like, I got this bean casserole, I want you to try, you're gonna find your face up. Get the fuck on, like, seriously. But, no, honestly, if you're just starting out or if you don't know what to do or where to start, I am here to help you. Because I'm still going through it myself. And I'm gonna tell y'all all about that because my biggest struggle is sugar and starch. Like, that is my biggest thing about being a vegan, you know, trying to eat right, it's the sugar. So if you're just starting off, they have a lot of things now. I mean, everywhere you go at this point, they have plant-based this, plant-based that, you know, everything. So it's different options, which is actually good for people who don't know where to start or don't know what to do. Hold on, I have to put my glasses on. Hold on. Okay, there you go. I can see them. But... They have actually different products, and I'm gonna list them right on the side. They have the Guardian products, which is like the um, chicken tenders. They have the crab balls, and it was something else. It's it's gonna be on the side, y'all gonna see it. And you can get those from Walmart, Kroger. I believe Harris Tita has them, I don't know, pretty much your grocery store. Now, I have tried the Guardian chicken tenders and the gardening crab balls. They also have the little fish fillets. I don't like those at all. They're not good to me. They just taste weird. The crab balls, they're all right, you know. And the thing is, in order before, I, in order to really do this, you have to change your mindset. Like your mindset has to be like, this is what I want, not oh, let me hop on, this is a trend. No, because once you do it, it actually becomes a lifestyle change. Like this is this is something that you're gonna be doing from here on out. It's not just, I'm gonna be eating this for a few days, then I'm gonna go back to tan up some steak ribs. And honestly, I'm not judging. If you do, that's your business because the thing you can say is you try. And if you like it, you do. If you don't, then you don't. But anyway, so those are some of the things that you can try and when I first started off, I actually cut out chicken cold turkey. That was the biggest struggle for me because I love, ch especially chicken wings, some flats with some ranch. Oh boy, like the Zaxby's hot honey mustard chicken wings. Oh my God, them shits is so good. Like y'all need to try them. I understand I'm talking about veganism, but look, if you still eat chicken, if you still eat meat, you need to go try them from Zaxby's. Get a combo because you get chicken tenders and everything. To what I was saying about the whole where to start. Okay, that's what I was. I cut out chicken cold turkey. I mean, I didn't do baits. I didn't do every other week or just once a day. I I literally stopped cold turkey. 
and everybody can't do that. That's what I'm saying. You have to do what works best for you. My experience is not gonna be like your experience at all. Like, if you have to find the right fit for you because if you try to do what I do, you might end up in a hospital somewhere because that's, that's not something that you're used to. But with me, it was easier to do it that way. So I had stopped that and I actually started eating a lot of fruit and vegetables, especially vegetables. I was eating a bunch of asparagus. I was eating broccoli more. You know, my mom would actually, this when I was staying with my mom at the time, I was actually meal prepping with her and eating a lot of the things that she eats because my mom is a five year vegan. So, to my mama. And you would think because when I lived with her, it would be easy. No, because I still ate what I want. Because I'd be hungry. Like, I don't say that shit. I'd be real hungry. So, that, I had did that. And I actually started to work out. Started going to the gym every day. I was, the big thing, I was drinking water every day. I mean, started in the morning and I'll try to finish up about 8, 9 o'clock. I have a jug from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. You can get those at Amazon. But I'm telling you, like... That was my biggest thing. Drinking water, water, water. It helped my skin, which my skin kind of looking a little crunch barish. But I'm going to get back on track. But honestly, that's what I was doing. I was going to the gym every day. And I will be doing a video about that later on, about my whole gym experience while I was transitioning to becoming a vegan. It was like, definitely temptation. I mean, you know, I still hung out with people around me who still ate chicken, still ate, you know, ribs and burgers and things like that. And I had to find alternatives. You know, I was doing black bean burgers. Sometimes I would just eat beans, like asparagus and beans. And I was good. But the thing is, I still snacked on stuff that I had should not, that I had shouldn't, I can't never talk, that I shouldn't have been snacking on. I was still eating hot fries. I was still eating Lil Debbie cakes, you know. But it wasn't back to back to back to back. It was just, I was, I'm still addicted to that sugar. You know, I was still eating cereal. As you can see, the last video, and I'll put that in the link below, I was eating cereal. Like, I, I don't, that sugar is just like, it's really like some crack. Like, it's, it's terrible. It's a terrible thing to be addicted to, especially when you are trying to get on the right path. But like I said, it's alternatives to that. They actually have, you know, fruit bars. They have vegan cookies, vegan cakes, anything vegan that you can think of from a little Debbie cake, they can put that in a vegan form. From a, a, a birthday cake, that can go in a vegan form. So it's definitely different alternatives out there to help you on the journey of what you're going through. But every you again, you have to do everything in moderation because just because it's vegan, I can't just sit there and eat a whole box of vegan cookies just because, you know, it's not gonna do anything. I still have to be mindful of the intake and what I am eating. The plan is actually to become plant-based. Now, it's a difference between vegan and plant-based. Plant-based is what it sounds like. Strictly plants, you know, produce section at Walmart, Kroger, etc. You got your kale, your asparagus, your broccoli, your cauliflower, all that stuff that's grown. That's more so plant-based, your fruits and vegetables. Vegan, like I said, they have as far it still has to go through some sort of process but again if you are just starting or even if you are plant-based plant based and you have a taste for a chicken tender those chicken tenders the the vegan chicken nuggets vegan corn y'all these vegan corn dogs straight rocket vegan corn dogs vegan hot dogs vegan bologna i mean they have it out there. Again, it's all about moderation because you don't want to overdo it because it's still some sort of process. Like I said, I struggle big time when it comes to sweets because I'll be quick to go to the store or, hey, babe, can you pick me up a cake on your way? You know, it's it's little stuff like that. But it's all, it's all a working process. If you 
really put your mind to it, if you're really serious about wanting to shed the pounds, want to lose the weight, the thing is, a lot of people, and I hear a lot of people say, well, I can't stop eating meat. I can't stop this. Okay, you know, no judgment. But when you continue to have health problems, you know, people offer you alternatives, but yet you still want to say you can't do this, you can't do that. Well, you're going to continue to decline as far as health-wise because you're speaking it out of your mouth for one, for one, and then for two, you're not even giving it a try. Like, honestly, vegan food, and I got to keep putting quotes on it because, a lot, of, like I said, a lot of people are just so small-minded when it comes to it. They think it stinks. They think it's weird. But yet, y'all don't think it's weird to pick up a motherfucking chicken leg and bite it. Granted, I was there too. Like I said, I tore chicken up. But the thing that really made me turn around, I was at a wine festival one year. And I had one of those big turkey legs, you know them shits, at the amusement park, stuff like that. And I'm just staring at it, and I smelled it, and it was just, it stunk, it stunk really bad. And I'm just, it just hit me. I'm like, bro, a, a animal, somebody was walking on this. I threw that turkey leg away so fast because for one, I couldn't do it no more. Like, I don't want somebody eating my ass. So, that was that. That was it for that. At January 3rd, matter of fact, 2019, that's when I had started my no meat journey. And it's a struggle. You will slip up. You will bite into a chicken nugget. You probably will bite a burger. Mind you, I have slipped up. I have bit some chicken nuggets. I have bit a motherfucking chicken wing. But you know what? I'm not perfect. So, it's okay because I got right back on track. The thing, I haven't bitten any burgers or steak, so I am very proud of that. Like, I slipped in the chicken, but not into beef or pork. Again, the journey, it is hard. Like, it really is hard because you really will struggle. It's pretty much, you're going through rehab. Your body will detox to a point where you are going to start craving that stuff that you used to eat. You're going to start craving a lot of what you're trying to get away from and that's really temptation also another thing is when i did stop eating meat i went to pescatarian i was just eating shrimp and crab legs most of it was shrimp but recently i just stopped eating shrimp seafood in general a few months ago because i've seen the post and it just turned me off from seafood in general that's why i'm saying my big my goal that i'm going to hit is actually being, being plant-based like strictly plant-based fruits and vegetables maybe once every in a blue moon i'll eat me a vegan chicken tender or a vegan plant-based burger but i don't want to consume that all the time and then i definitely have to get back on drinking my water all the time like it has to be around the clock because that will definitely help. That actually helps some weight loss as well. And it'll also help my skin because I'm trying to work on getting my skin back right. But again, with everything going on, everybody being quarantined, you just want to snack, snack, eat like shit. I can eat a whole house for real, for real but I'm not going to eat. If you are in this predicament where you're thinking about going vegan or you're having, you know, mixed feelings about it, there there are many options. I cannot talk today. I'm so sorry for all this stuttering and stumbling over my words, y'all. But there are there there are many options. There I go. It's many options out there in the grocery stores where you can choose from, like I said, they have the the breakfast vegan sausages, they got the vegan um, mini corn dogs, vegan burgers. They even have, I've never tried it, but it's by the brand Gardein. It's vegan, like a skillet, it's like chicken or sausage and things like that, vegan sausages. So the options are out there. It's just up to you and your mindset if you are willing to try it, if you are willing to take a chance with it. Because honestly, it could be one of the best things you did. When I was on it hard, like when I was on my workout, on my eating right, I felt great. I mean, everything changed from my skin to how I even breathe coming up the stairs. I went out of breath because I know y'all be tired of being out of breath. When you on the phone with somebody and you coming up the stairs, straight tie as hell like you know, just ran around the track but honestly when you change your diet that helps everything it helps your sex drive i mean anything you know it helps like so i really advise y'all 
So, you know, just try it. Have an open mind. Like I said, if you still eat chicken, fish, pork, goddamn duck, cat, if you eat any animal, you know, that's your business. Me personally, I don't do that anymore because I think about certain stuff and certain things that I do know. And, you know, I'm not going to force my opinion on anybody. You just have to read and know for yourself as far as, you know, what you want to put in your body. But like I said, I'm still on this journey myself. So in my future videos, this about to be slim out. These big ass cities about to be shrunken. So <laughs> I'm about to get snatched, boo boo. And I'm going to tell you that. So be on the lookout for y'all. Because y'all's corner finna blow up. This body's finna get right. So, but nah. Uh, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like this video. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And also leave some comments if you have anything that you would like to share that I didn't know or things like that. So, peace.